Rebel leader Riek Machar arrives at the opposition headquarters in Pagak, Upper Nile State. He has come to consult his generals on the latest draft peace agreement. But some are suspicious of putting down their arms. 18 months to unify the two armies is too little. If peace doesn't come after this period, you politicians will have no army left to back you. Appeasing the generals is one challenge, keeping the movement together another. Machar's deputy, as well as infamous General Peter Gadet, didn't show up because of recent fallouts. On camera, the rebels downplay internal skirmishes. They also deny ruthlessly killing innocent civilians, including this commander, who has been placed under UN sanctions for overseeing attacks on hospitals and torturing civilians. We fought with the, with the, with the government army and their militias. This is what we did. We did not even reach to the action of going to the villages of the Denka. No. Since the onset of the conflict, the two sides have been pointing fingers for atrocities and laying conflicting claims to territories held. The purpose? To negotiate a bigger share of power in the transitional government. It's war is all over South Sudan. So any peace arrangement in terms of power sharing, in terms of security arrangements, must encompass the entire nation. But other tribes fear that giving power to the rebels in more areas and reinstating Machar as vice president won't solve their problem. This man represents a militia in Western Equatoria state and has been invited to discuss a possible alliance. Suppose if it were not to be aware that I've been massacred in Cuba, they won't have revolted. And that's clearly that they are there to protest, uh, to protect their interest not the interests of people of South Sudan. Creating alliances with other militia has been part of the rebel strategy to achieve their political goals. They now claim to have the military upper hand. Should they not get what they want in this round of negotiations, they are prepared to keep on fighting. The international community has accused both sides of this conflict of intransigence. After days of discussions here in Pagak, the rebels will put forth yet another set of demands, including power sharing in additional states of South Sudan. With the August 17th deadline approaching fast, the gap between the two sides remains significant. Simona Faltin for France 24 in Pagak, South Sudan.